One of my major copes is running late at night in the city and watching cute girls from a distance. I do believe that it's called stalking, if I remember correctly. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash incel tier, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Yoki doka, let's go. Even during the day, yeah, I love running and looking at them from far away. Sometimes I run past them and try to brush past their beautiful bodies and get to smell and a small touch of a whammon. They are also forced to smell my curry sweat. I am pathetic. I like making myself really big, wear big clothes, and run towards whammon or from behind. This is the only moment that whammon acknowledges acknowledge me, even for just a second. If they move, I like to think I am mugging them with my curry existence, and yet they move because they fear me. If they don't, I can brush against their soft skin. This is a major cup of mine, a JFL. I guess I think that being acknowledged is better than being ignored by whammon all day, and I can use my fat curry body to mug whammon. Jeez, that feels weird no matter how you say it. What the f- Asking a whammon out is extremely humiliating. I miss teen love and other romantic things. It is impossible to return to the past. Now I want only S, uh, but entire concept of approaching and asking someone out is extremely humiliating for men. Why you need to pretend what you want relationships when you really want s it would be hypocritical society forces men to lose all dignity and join dating clownery all is a game why do i need to pretend that i am interested in her personality if i need her body only or why i should entertain her am i clown why men need to act like idiots in modern world. Do Hunter engage in conversation with his prey? I see her as an object only. I don't interested in conversations with her. Oh uh, yes, and definitely have the linguistics of a true intellectual. Was that one Uga or two Uga Boogas? Oh uh, yes, that one graph that they will not shut up about and think that this is more valid than the Bible. I've discovered the reason why restrictions of S is so common in religion, and I I'm shaking, guys. Its energy literally defies the laws of physics, which state that in the second law of thermodynamics, that matter naturally degenerates into disorder. When a human life is conceived, it completely defies this law. This means energy is more powerful than the laws of physics, and is seemingly a divine power in living things. A most religious Religions across the globe understand this and thus train people to control this power to become spiritually stronger. I remember hearing about a book that stated that if a man remains a virgin until his 30th birthday and has the right plant ingredients and occult objects, then he can gain magical powers. Really, you going by the whole wizard thing? Really? What if someone trained? their energy to be able to destroy a mountain with one punch by having cultivated and learning how to control their energy throughout their body. Uh, guys, I'm shaking as I type this right now. I feel like I've discovered something called the monks with long white beards that meditate at the top of mountains should be aware of. I'm a bit scared. Is this a sign that I have a deep spiritual insight? Am I I now wise enough to start my own religion or something? Ah uh, yes, come all ye faithful.
sequel to Dingus Prime. Always remember that a dead child still has millions upon millions of women adoring him for no reason other than his face genetics. Paul Walker, dead for so long, wouldn't have stopped eating his butt years ago. He's not even bones anymore. Another innocent man died in that car, but because he wasn't Chad, these holes don't care, and nobody knows his name. We literally had a hole in school cry because some random pretty boy, mediocre Chad actor died. And JFL, you are alive right now, and women prefer effing some old, smelly, dirty, lifeless bones of a hot dead guy. Not even consider looking at a man below 8 out of 10. Paul Walker actually did something with his life. You guys still idolize the dude that in actually wound up offing a whole lot of people because of the sole purpose that he was an entitled prick and nobody wanted to lay him. You still idolize that dude and he's been dead for 7 years. But no, the guy that actually made a whole lot of people happy with the stuff he was doing that he enjoyed doing is the person that you say, oh just get over it. The other person in Paul's car was Roger Vodas. He was the person driving and as stated in a lot of police reports, they were going about 90 in a 45, which is one of the factors that led to the unfortunate demise of Paul Walker and Roger Rodas. And honestly, when it comes to the Fast and Furious movies that he's been associated with so much, they still play him off as being alive in that in that movie's universe, uh, with the fact that they just say, oh, he's off taking care of the kids, or they say, oh yeah, he's going to show up at the very end, and they show his car driving up at the very end. And in an honest opinion, I feel like they should have just ended the movies at this scene here in Fast 7, which is the last movie that Paul Walker was in. The Harry Potter film series blackpilled me as a child. How? I never read the book series because I'm an ADHD cell, um, but I watched the entire Harry Potter series as a child. One of the most blackpilled moments is when the truth is revealed about Snape. Snape, who is implied to be an ugly, socially awkward incel, was bullied and tormented brutally by James Potter. Harry's dad and Chad laid high tier normie, and his friend group, the Marauders. James ends up with Lily, a Snape's one eyedus and eventually a mother of Harry. And she friends on Snape. James never apologizes to Snape, nor does he face any consequences for his actions. In fact, he remained popular and well respected throughout his life. The truth is that this happens in real life all of the time. Bullies are the successful ones well the victims suffer even in adult life uh dude i think you might have downloaded the wrong harry potter movie you know maybe yours was the good old one of harry potter and the audacity you had to walk into that room jfl a crazy how much i trained to be romantic and sexy to women when all chad had to do was exist all of the YouTube videos of how to stand straight manners, uh, preparing a nice dinner, uh, learning to cook, play guitar, open the door for women, how to respect women. Chad literally does none of these. His aura is just sexy already. I thought you would have to have a manly aura to respect and strength, and nah, uh, it's all looks. A 5 foot 2 giga manlet carry will never have that aura around them. A Chad, however. Darn, I was so blue-pilled. I thought that all the dudes in movies had that manly aura and got the girl because of that JFL. They were all hot. No exceptions. Nothing else. Keep omni-coking if you think women want romance or respect from subhumans. Charming is just another way word for a hot tall guy smiling at a woman. Interesting equals sharp a jawline. A romantic equals a fit body, etc. You cannot win as an ugly male. There is no compensating for your inferior looks. No one wants a romantic curry manlet in an expensive suit. They want Christian Grey in jogging pants. You see saying that, like, all dates have to be the most romantic thing ever in existence. No, romantic dates can just be a simple thing of watching 
movies at home. They don't need to be like countless dollars spent. It could quite literally just be like go-karts in a movie. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start from wholesome internet discussions. The engagement does help the channel a lot. And if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.